And I'll begin the next mime. Shabbos Pashas Chai Yisoda. The worship of Varchim Achet is Kisto Tov Shechavit. So the story the Pasuk here is, he's about to meet Rivka for the first time, Yitzchak. The Pasuk says, Yitzchak ba mi boi be'er l'chai roi. And Yitzchak came from coming from the will which is called l'chai roi. He had just, Rashi said, just reunited Avram with Hagar, who was living there. It's a reference to the, the to the well that she saw, to the to the Malach that she saw, and the, she named it. But I saw this and lived. So the, it's not the Shaila, the Lacher Avadiloimba, the Pasuk shows it simply. He came from the well called the Chayroi. Ma Oimbre Bo Mi Boy. He came from Kami. She said, okay, for Loshan, it's a double expression. So this is a shy that is brought with in a Ratayr. Yesh Lohi said, the Rebbe, she posted their call, should in Klolos be Iker in Yonash Litzha. It's not standard posuk, but this is a, 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 an occurrence that happened in Yitzchak's life. But rather, it's bound up with the Ikid in Yom Rebbe Yitzchak. Why? Sherei boy, Shal Yitzchak mi Bela Chayroi, who is coming from there. And that's where he meets Rivka. Achon, the la yichod Yitzchak ba Rivka. This is Achon, as explained between me saying Yonim. I didn't know further to explain. The Yichod of Yitzchak and Rivka. Like he says in the Psukim the, the, the that follow, he came from there and then he was in the field, then by Yisa Einov, and he lifted his eyes and he saw Rivka, then by Yisa he brought her into the tent, and behold, Sarah Ima, she's just like Sarah, his mother, as Rashi explains. She said, this is the whole kavana. The whole kavana is the yichud of Yitzchak and Rivka. Just to point out that the last kavrengian of Shabbos Pashas Chayisod Tavshin in base thirty years chod base nun base yeah. Um, that was the whole thing of the kavrengian. The whole thing was the Kinnis HaShluchim into every year, it was very thick words, that every year to Shliach. And the whole point of it was that the whole Shlichus is the Yichud of Yitzchak and Divka Ma'oban did it betachtoinim. And the whole role was shyly asked over there, that's the Iker, so why is the Torah placed emphasis on, on the whole getting there, which is the Be'ezer. That was the whole beard that the other the other is a shliach. And for the shliach to carry out the whole shlichus, it's got to be first embodied in him. As a reflection of Mashiach, who is the ultimate shliach. Shlach no biatishlach, that Mesha entreated Hashem and Hashem told him, take the Eden out of Mitzrayim. It's a whole beard over there that Mesha was pale, the union of shlichus, and connected himself to shlichus. But we'll begin with Eliezer and Yitzhak and Rivka. That's where the whole Adichus and Eliezer story. The Sikh has to be learned. It's, it's, it's translated recently by Eli Talger. I think it's, it's available online already. And he actually translated all the Ha'odas also. It's the Rebbe's mission statement to this, genera to this generation, to the, to the end of the generation. So this is, he says here, that the marriage of Yitzchak and Rivka is the whole, Yitzchak and Rivka is the whole purpose. Like in explaining the memorandum of the Ramasra Yofas, the Chosr Shalab, the Ovis, with the Rosh Hashanah, greater, say Chazal, is the conversation of the servants 
of the others than the Torah of the children. The Torah of children is given in a letter, a nuance, a shove. And here's a whole lot of the whole conversation that, I, that Avram had with Eliezer, and Eliezer has with, with Psuel and with Lava. It's even greater. Why? Because this is Sheyichod, Yisrak, Verifka, Inyan, Yichod, Malban. Their unity is Yichod, Malban. It doesn't explain why. Why? Why Eliezer's role is so highlighted. It's their marriage. That should be that. It is that they've explained in base. That's the role of the Shliach. So they're Yichod of Malban. What's Malban? What do you remember? So Malchus, basically. Right, Malban, there's different ways to spell Shem Havaya, different Mildoyim, right? Engendering different gematrias. So Ma, which is 45, is if you spell the Mildoy is an Aleph. In other words, Hey spelled Hey Aleph. Ban, 52, is if the Mildoy is Hey. Hey, Hey, for example. So Aleph is Zor, and Hey is Malchus. So Yichud Ma'oban is the Yichud of Ma'am Ashpia Mekabel, Shemayin Ba'odetz. It's a general catchword for the whole purpose of creation, heaven on earth, Ma'oban. Marriage, that's what marriage is. He is bound up with the union of what? Of Mila, which is why when he comes down to the world, he easily loses it, because it's not his place really. And so it gets, either becomes the master and gets swallowed up, where she, Ban, Chathila, this Malchus being in the world, is not a stir until he goes. That's just where it's at. The Kavana is their unity. He does better when he's sitting for banging with the boys, when he's a good boy, sitting, learning, davening. Put him out there in the world, oh, it's, it's a, that's a big danger. That's why he's got to marry. Because she's in, 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 integral to the fabric of creation, and there bringing Yelikus in the most natural way. The cycle of time, all the learned that are bound up, the Kabul, nurturer that is integral to Ban, to Malchus, to the Isha. So the Kavana is the Yichud of the two. Shem Yichud Kuchabricha Shvita, right? So this is continuing. Shazehu, Klolos, Ingen Havaita, Klolos, Ingen Abriya. This is the whole Avaida, and this is the whole purpose of creation. Yeah, so as a chana for this, a chana for this yichud, shinyon de shal yitzchak, who, what's yitzchak? That's coming out to unite with Rivka. He's being defined as shabom yiboy be'e l'chayva. Sarech l'hovi in ma'on yibazeh. What is conveyed in these words, the double expression, bom yiboy in be'e l'chayva, that all of this is a hachana and defines him in his preparation and preparedness to unite with Rivka. One side. Gams, yeah, you might have it. You got the mind, yeah? Yeah. Gams, Arich Lahov, in Benegi, Leklot, Sinan Shul Yitzchak. You have to understand Bachlal Yitzchak. Why? Why is he called Yitzchak Shashem at Shaykh Batayim? Laughter. Delight, like uh, Sora said that Hashem made uh, uh, made me an object of joy. What's the time of the time is the day which the So good. What's the question? The question is the chura in a move and long on the yachsim time of zel yitzchak. And that and the Avod of Avron and Yaakov is not Poel Tainuk. Why is it associated Davke with Yitzchak? Lil Avron with Yaakov. And we see that it's associated with Yitzchak to the following extent. Bach Mavur, but Tera Eir explains in Tera Eir, she Yitzchak ko Iker Avos. Now, how this reconciled with Yaakov was is called the Pchir. So Yaakov is called the Pchir, the choice of the Avos. But Yitzchak is the Iker of us, whatever the beer is. But right now we're focusing on the Iker. And so much so, Lo'asid Lo'avay, Lo'asid Lo'avay, Shosti Yishlei, Mishabay, Deshosman, Agolosh, Lo'kolos, Ashish, Al-Tishnin, 
If also love is the shlemus of the Avayda of Golos and the 6,000 years that the world exists. So the Gemara says in Shabbos, it's a famous Gemara there that you're really Yitzchak Dafke ki Atavim. It's a Pasuk in Yeshaya. Pasuk in Yeshaya says that, that, that in fact, we'll kind of reject Avram and Yaakov, very explicit Pasuk. You can look it up some of Gimot Tezayim in your phone there. And we will and we will say, you're not not Avram is our father, not Yaakov, but Yitzchak. That's the Pasuk in Yeshaya. And the Gemara Mzach the Shabbos explains why, because it's only Yitzchak that will defend the Yidin. He will defend them completely and take their shortcomings on his shoulders, whatever they are, whatever they are. And Avram and Yaakov said, they failed you, so they deserve what's coming. So therefore, when Mashiach Hukar will say, Ki Atavin, you hear what's the Pasuk say? Yeah, so they say outright, not, not Avram and not Yaakov, we don't recognize, we don't know, but only you. Who's the you? Says the Gemara Yitzchak. And why? For the reason I just told you. So this is just underscoring the question. He never not going to the Pratim here, just the bottom line. Ki ato is Yitzchak. In general, that's the trait, the timing is only from Avram Yitzchak. What about Avram and Yaakov? Let's go further. Yeah, that's, so there's one of the two questions. The two questions is, we have to understand the double expression, bo mi boy. And we have to understand, three questions. Then we have to understand that what's conveyed in this Pesach that defines Yitzchak as he's now prepared to marry Rivka, which is the Tachnes Kavona, the whole of the Kavona of the Briyas Yichud Maldan. What's conveyed in these words that are the achana and the state before the yichud? And furthermore, why dafke yisrach yatavinu? Why is only he causing tiny b'mayda? As if to say the other avodas do not, cannot be. So what does it mean? The Hovind said, understand all of this. We have to first preface, what is the union of the well? He came from the well. We know the general avoid of Yitzchak was, it's the only thing the Torah tells us about him. His life is remarkably unremarkable in terms of things that happen. Avram, every, every Pasha is another adventure. The Yitzchak spent most of his life in that just so we well, don't hear too much about him. Other than he digs wells. And at the end, the blessing uh, Yaakov and Esau. I mean, in the beginning, the Akedah, but that happens to him. What does he do? Digs wells. What is this? He's elevating from below to above. Like a physical well. It happens to Abed Esau. The karka, digging in the earth, lahaser is rigve offer. Rigve means boulders and large clods of earth. And vatsrura is the small rocks and machas mamemayons. This like the big things that you moved in the small things, which cover on the uh, the water of the wells. For us, and then. Then is revealed the waters of the wells that are drawn from the depth. As the past success by Noyach, they're opened up. Then by the well springs of the great depth. Hind, we need to say the even There is water before it's dark. We call Moka Mario Behelem. The water is concealed, vain by Shem Te'eles, and don't have any benefit from it. We have a, a page mem base three lines in the top. The gila and ma'in shenasa de'achfira, the revelation of the well that is done through digging, she'avadis odom, the derech, malamata, lamailo, 
he digs, and it's a way of bringing from up that which is below. He reveals there by the waters of the well, well spring, they to flow upwards. And so the parallel to Mosa is in, in the spiritual well. About this, the Yidin sang in the song there after the whole story with, with the Amorim and the miracles that Hashem performed to them. So they sang the song and they said, Be'er, the well, Chafarua Sodim, was dug by princes referring to Mesh and Adam. Karua, also expression of carving out the Divi Om, the nobles of the people. It's a reference to Mesh and Adam. But he doesn't go to these Paratim. The point is, the point is that it's dug. Shachfir Chriya. So digging in Chriya, Chriya is, is, is not so deep. Chriya is deep digging. And Chriya is like, Avoid the loss as Rigve offer, Agassim. So first you have to remove the, the clods or the boulders, the coarse boulders. That's the chvira. And then vatsuvi sadakim, the finer pebbles, that's the chriya, like scrap. So it's not such a deep uh, dig. And that's what the Nevishabam is. Nevishabam is has big grub components, and then there's the little stuff. Of course, always the little stuff is deeper than the big stuff. But at any rate, this is the avoided to dig it. By which Nevesha Bahamas is covering and concealing the Nevesha All right, so we'll continue Be'ezer Hashem tomorrow.